All right, I just wanted to address something that I learned this week and I wanted to share with everyone in case others have seen this. So I just set up a new computer. We're using ProPresenter with an output through a Blackmagic device through SDI to our monitors. And here's the kind of thing that I'm getting. Um, you can see that uh, there actually is an image at the top, but the uh, resulting output has all kinds of fuzz. Uh, what we should be seeing is something uh, similar to you know this, I guess. So um, you know something simple. But um, if we take a look at ProPresenter, we can see in our screens, I've configured them. Um, it's the Ultra Studio Monitor. Resolution is 1080p 5994. If I switch this over to 72060 and take a look, um, you can see here that we actually have a working system. There's uh, no flicker, nothing like that. So uh, what we need to do is find a way that we can do our full uh, 1080p 5994, which just happens to be the resolution of my system, uh, without getting the the crazy um, view that we're getting right here. Um, so I started digging into more of this. I troubleshot with Blackmagic Designs for about half an hour, uh, ProPresenters tech, tech support team for quite a, a bit of time. Blackmagic uh, confirmed, hey, nothing is our problem. Um, they use the uh, Media Express program to verify that. But I wasn't fully convinced uh, because the the source material in Media Express was a different frame rate and also different resolution um, than what I'm needing. So I felt like if I hit my target resolution, it would have still given me trouble. Uh, Pro Presenter said, "Yeah, I think it might be us, but we don't know how to fix it. Let's get our engineers on it, and we'll get back to you." Um, so anyway, I've spent more time on my own to try to solve this, and I just kind of wanted to show you what I came up with. So um, when you do a, uh, one of these external black magic units, um, you have to use this desktop video setup tool and you always wanna make sure everything's updated, of course. And so you can see here, I've got my Studio Monitor 3G and uh, just so you can see, I've got that here on my desk as well. This is the tool I'm actually using. Um, so the Studio Monitor 3G has some settings. You can set your uh, video standard here. But most importantly, down here, if we are to go to the SMPTE level A versus level B, even though B is listed as normal, A is what makes all the difference. Um, so let me uh, switch over here so you can see my screen. Um, when I make a change to SMPTE level A, um, just that simple selection in the system automatically brings that screen up to working again. And so, um, you know, that, that simple little thing made, um, made my system start working right. And that, that freaking out video that was going on actually caused my video switcher to never display an image. We just really got hung up before service. And this is one of those things that was unexpected. In a lab environment, I actually used both um, uh, my laptop computer as well as the new Mac Studio. I used new user accounts. I used I, I, everything was just a scratch configuration and the problem still persisted until I was able to find that particular switch in their system. Um, so keep that in mind if that's something that you are running into. I will say another piece of troubleshooting that did help me, like, kind of pointed me towards this, was if I used the HDMI output of that Blackmagic device, uh, my HDMI output was clean. And so I had no trouble there, which kind of pointed me towards there being an issue with SDI. When SDI makes a connection between two devices, there's a bit of a handshake. If they're not speaking that same language, that handshake doesn't happen. That caused the problem. Um, so now we have a resolution, and I hope that helps you as well.